the lady bitty Jimmy, where'd you go? The lady bitty Jimmy, where did you go? Jimmy, Jimmy, come out and play, Jimmy Millerin, Millerin Spritz. It's not in my vocabulary. Jigaboo is not a racist comment. Who do I call the gook? Oh no, Jimmy, who do you call the gook? I'm asking you. Well, you just ask a question. You don't ask a question with a question. You provide a question with an answer. I just ask you, who do you call a gook? So answer it, dipshit. You're mentally fucked up. Yeah, but you wouldn't say that to my face, Jimmy, or it wouldn't work out too well for you. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make you one last offer. It's 941 on Friday. Monday's a holiday. I'll treat you to a very nice lunch in the valley of your choice, and then we'll have a little chit-chat. go out to lunch, Jimmy, on me today, anywhere you want in the valley. You could go to a steakhouse, Ruth Chris, you could go to lobster, you could go to fish, you can go to tacos, anything you want. <laughs> Try to be nice to the Miller and Miller Spritz, old codger, Barry Goldstein. He runs away. about making that offer. It'll expire. Let's see, it's 1042, mm, or excuse me, 942. I'll make that offer good until 1015, a half hour. You can figure it out, Jimmy. Things could go sour. That's not my intention, though. Six foot, 190. You're not six foot. I've seen your picture. OG sent me all this shit. And uh, you're a short, fat, out of shape, 83-year-old, old codger, no hair on the head. And I'll rub a little uh, gel on your head, and it guarantees you'll get some hair. I'll, I'll throw that in, too. You're six foot not. You're five seven at best. You're 282. You're, you can't even see your penis because you're so fucking fat. Never have seen it. You've never seen that itty little bean, itty little thing with a Foley catheter inside there. And then you got that colostomy bag, which I've seen pictures of. And you got the neuropathy, diabetes. You're similar to Darren, but you're older. He's 59, 60, and you're 83 years old. So don't think you're fooling anyone. But I'll still take you to lunch. Very good mood, Jimmy. I'll take you anywhere you want to go. Anywhere. Why would you do that? Out of the goodness of your heart? Yes, it's Friday. It's TGIF. I'm feeling good about this three-day weekend. Monday is uh, President's Day. I'm looking for sales, and I found a few already. And I just want to help a ham radio brother have a nice weekend. And that's all. He doesn't have the money unless... Jimmy... I can buy you and sell you and spit you out, but I don't brag. I'm still poor. But I could buy you and sell you, Jimmy. How about that? Too bad. It's a shame. It's a shame that you live in Nakamura's little condo in North Redondo Beach, not even close to the ocean. It's a shame, but I'll still take you out to lunch. So stop trying to make a show out of something that's sincere from the bottom of my N6ZKZ's heart. Listen to the liar. I'm not lying, I swear to God. Here, give me your phone number on the air and I'll call you. Hey, it's unbelievable. Jimmy, give me your number, I'll give you a, a call, and then we'll talk about it off the air. Kind of like a Henry Stanky. Jimmy, I'm offering to take you to lunch anywhere of your choice. God is my witness. You have until 10.15. That's 29 minutes. I'll give you 39 minutes, and then you can make your mind up. I'd end up beating you up. You would end up trying to beat me off. You can't beat me up, Jimmy. There's no way, no how. And if you think you can, and I'm wrong, which I always could be wrong, there's a margin for that, then I'm wrong. But until then, you're not going to beat me up. Look 
at what happened with Barry Goldstein, your neighbor on Vanderbilt Lane. He beat the hell out of you. So you don't talk tough talk. Do you want to go to lunch, yes or no? Hey, I'm trying to be nice to you. Do you want to go to lunch? No. All bullshit aside, there's no fighting, no nothing, just a simple lunch. Anywhere you want. With bug eye, that's the worst thing anybody. Your, your, your girlfriend shows up in your filthy house. What's that telling you? It's telling me she loves me very much. It's not filthy, thank you. Just because you got a video from Robert Swenson, Robert Jeffrey Swenson, uh, KM6RHL, you know, the squeaky three in San Juan Capistrano that lives with his daddy um, doesn't mean that that's true. You know, there's the truth and there's lies, Jimmy, and there's somewhere in between. You want to believe him, then you go run with him, and maybe he'll give you more videos, make-believe videos. But uh, you want to believe that, Jimmy, you believe that. You go run, girl. But until then, do you want to go to lunch? This girl goes into a, f a woman, not a girl. Um, Cora's a woman, and the house is totally remodeled. You know what, Jimmy? And DAV, if you're out there, he could attest this. I got a new roof, brand new, and he gave me some good suggestions. I got brand new heating, brand new air. The whole thing's remodeled, dude. Do you want to go to lunch? Steve, why would you have to get brand new everything? Because I wanted it. Obviously, homes need a roof after so many years. I had to pull it down brand new. Obviously, I wanted a brand new heater and air conditioner. Brand new. Why wouldn't I get it? Steve, I think uh, I think you should let Jimmy finish his his sentences. You keep cutting him off and jamming over the top of him. Let him. Let him. It's just you two out here having it back and forth. Let the guy finish the sentence. I'm not jamming, I, and I'm not duplexing either. I can't, especially on four three five in here. Not duplexing, not jamming, but go ahead. It's just hard when, you know, I'm trying to listen to the conversation and sort of make, uh, you know, heads or tails of it. And, you know, Jimmy gets about three words into a sentence and then you key up right over the top of him. So. No, I don't key up over the top of him. You're hearing things. Um, I let him say all the bullshit all day long, every day. And uh, it gets old, but I still let him say it. You know, he has the right to to speak his bullshit. When I am key, let's see if he talks. There's a great amateur operator right there. Steve wishes he was a great amateur radio operator. Well, I am, Jimmy. And, um... I'm sorry you don't realize it. I'm sorry that you're fixated on some video. I think you'd do better at watching Pornhub, um, Chatterbait, Pornhub, you know, those kind of videos. Watch your Weather Girls, but there's no X-rated version of the Weather Girls. They wouldn't give you the second time of day, the time of day whatsoever. I'm sure of that. But, Jimmy, um, do you want to go to lunch? Yes or no? I end up beating you up. Why would I want to go to lunch? Okay, well, I offered. You couldn't beat me up, Jimmy. There's no way. And if you think you can, why don't you meet me right now? Well, I can show you better than I can tell you over the radio, but you won't beat me up. I think you guys should just arm wrestle. I don't want to touch his hand. Are you kidding me? He's got a colostomy bag on when he changes the feces in that bag. It's all over his hands. He doesn't believe in, uh, you know, washing with soap and water. He's like Pat Sullivan. Oh, you're like Pat Sullivan. Have a great big container of urine in your bathroom with black mold on the outside. And the reason you use that because your toilet didn't work. The toilet works fine, Jimmy. It works so fine with my two Toto toilets that I could take your head and mop you with my toilet and would probably have enough power to flush your entire obese, morbidly obese body right down the toilet. And then you go to the L.A. River where you could, you know, have fun floating around in the L.A. River. But just face it, Jimmy, you're 83. You don't know how to swim. You don't know how to behave. 
And, um, well, you don't have too much time left, dude. You don't. Jimmy, I'm waiting for you to come make your little comeback. I've offered him a, and this is sincere, from the bottom of my heart, it's, it's President's Day on Monday. He doesn't know that. He doesn't work. He doesn't make any money. He's relying on the Social Security disability. He doesn't have a pension because he was a delivery driver working for Roxanne. She wanted to get rid of him, gave him the red clown car, the cherry red clown car, right? And uh, the bottom line is Jimmy doesn't have a life. I'm offering him a free lunch anywhere he wants. Out here, Terry Neal. Yeah, I just walked in. Terry Neal, why are you come out and talk to me, Terry? I know you're sleeping, but can you wake up? I know you stay up all night like a crazy person, but can you wake up just for me so you can talk to me, Terry? Nobody really wants to talk to the creepy. CKC, the worst amateur radio operator ever to be on ham radio. Let me shut your mouth. I'm still here, but the uh, backer took me out. <laughs> Terry, Terry, this is this is Terry Neal. I'll talk to you even, my, even though my wife thinks you're a creep, Terry. I'll talk to you. That, that's weird that, that Terry would block that jabbering fool from communicating with him. That, that's weird, huh? It almost seems like something normal people would do. Block somebody like that from communicating with him. Yeah, he doesn't send me anything anymore. Zero. We took care of that. A little woman. I I blocked him. I'm like a little woman. I I blocked him. I just like him to send me anything because I'm like a woman. I'm like a fucking woman. Gary, do you think that um, do you think that Jimmy Millerell? Miller in Spritz is fifty one fifty. Let me explain that to you. I mean the nutcase. This is kind of woman faggot. <laughs> oh Terry, you're the greatest. Kind of woman faggot. <laughs> the best. You're the very best. <laughs> That is fucking funny. I sit in my room all day. When I'm not sitting in my room, I'm laying in my room. I don't have a life. I never go any place with my wife. No. Jimmy, in all fairness, uh, you don't have a wife. There is no Karen. It's just a figment of your, your fucked up imagination. I just sit in this room. I never go out with my... My wife goes all over the world, but I decide to sit in the room. Steve, you have more than one dog, right? So when you pat or pay attention to one dog, does the other dog get upset? Like you're not giving him attention? You see, Terry and Jimmy used to talk all the time, but now Terry prefers talking to you. Jimmy sounds like he's very, very jealous. He sounds like a woman. Corned woman, but that's a very good operation there, Chris O.F. That's a very good observation. Don't talk to me anymore like you do to Steve. You don't talk to me anymore like you do to Steve. <laughs> Oh, that's not happening, jackass. That's not happening. And I know who's doing the Morse code or attempting to do it. 
You don't even know how to send or receive Morse code. I know what he sent. It's very nasty. It's one of the few things he's got memorized. Uh, F Steve, right? No, all I heard was F you. Uh, I know who's doing that. They can't even use their voice. They're not giving a call sign either with that Morse code. So they're basically persona non grata. I don't hear a call sign. Well, you stay out here and talk to me all day. I, I, I don't want to talk to anybody but you, Steve. I really have the hot for you, Steve. I've, I've had five men before. Mostly, no. 
not entirely, but mostly. But he doesn't do it to me anymore. I have to block because I, I don't like that. I, I you know, I, I'm so. People he sends that shit to. But he doesn't do it to me anymore. Can't do it to me anymore. I'm like a woman. You know, I'm trying to sleep during the daytime. I, I, I've been up all night like a crazy person.